Hey, hey guys, it's me and Glam Good. Glam. Oh, oh, Glammy, he's excited today. And the little pink princess dragon. I love pink and pretty stuff. Okay. So, what kind of pretty stuff are we talking about today? Hank Henry. Ooh, we are. We got our Hank and Henry box in the mail. Yay! Ooh, yay! Yay! <laughs> so, you guys, go take a seat and let's get this thing open. Um... <sighs> Little side note about the giveaways. <clears throat> I'm still trying to figure this whole thing out, but it seems like Thursday is going to be like the giveaway day where I have the actual item and you make your entry. Um, my problem is once I have a winner, like right now it's Monday, so I don't even know yet who won last week's. Um, I mean, I will when I post this, but while I'm videoing it, no, I don't. Uh, this will be going up on Tuesday. And so on, you know, when I do, sometime today, we'll have a uh, kind of a drawing. And I'll have uh, someone at work who, like, knows nothing about it, you know, pick a number or something. And then, you know, we figure out who won, but um, then it's like how to contact the winner <clears throat> without alerting the whole world because there are shysty people out there and I really would like to contact the winner um, and have them email me before I announce who the winner is. I, does that make any sense to you guys? Um, so if you have any suggestions on how to do that, I've gone back and put, you know, under their entry, you know, hey, here's my email, contact me. Um, but then I'm not sure that you are getting notified because I did that with, um, I think the first one and... I don't think she got notified that I did that. I just so happened that I saw her post on a later one and I posted immediately and said, Hey, you know, send me an email. You need to contact me. And that's how we got together. Um, and the second one, Amy, we had a little difficulty, uh, you know, getting together. And, you know, I mean, once you email me, we're good to go, you know, but it's just a matter of, um, trying to, to get, you know, get organized with each other. Because obviously you don't want to put your address out here in YouTube land, you know, whatever. I mean, I don't care. But um, at any rate, if you are a winner, contact me. Um, I try really hard to put my address and my email in the description box. If it's not in the description box, I just haven't done it yet. Um, or go find a different video because it's in most of them. Because, um, yeah, you have to, like, upload and then go back and edit. And I really think when I get a computer and other things, you know, besides just an Android phone, that life on YouTube land is going to get a lot easier. <laughs> so, Hank and Henry. Okay. When Hank and Henry started these sub boxes, this is just beautiful. I, it was a month that I just, you know, had some low bills and I opted to get like all three. This thing does not want to open, let me tell you what. So, um, you know, or to, to do the, the six months i mean it's every other month so basically buy three in advance and then they were a little cheaper that way you know so i did that well the first box went off without a hitch this box they're sending out but something happened to 
the program or the person or the company or whatever about keeping the boxes organized. So they have decided that they're not doing, they're going to do the boxes, but you have to go and buy the box when you want it. It's not going to be an automatic monthly, you know, or bi-monthly uh, sub box anymore. So they either owe me a box or they owe me money. I don't know. We'll find out which way that goes. Um, I would be happy with the, the next box, but you know, oh well, this one's cool. Thank you, Henry. And you open it up and you know, you've got your little thingy there and it says, and of course I have to, you know, blind lady, blind lady here. Be yourself, create magic, pay it forward. We are the night owls. So yeah, now we're gonna take this off, which I always save these for, you know, packing like the giveaways, um, which you definitely wanna watch Thursday cause I picked out a couple of uh, pretty neat things for that giveaway. So, we got two highlighters. You know, I don't think he even put a, uh, he didn't even put a, um, a description sheet in with this one. So, yeah, whatever it was that happened really, um, really overwhelmed them. Um, so I guess we're lucky that we're even getting these at all. Um, this is a collaboration with someone that I have no idea what her name is, but it's a Hank and Henry lipstick, the, you know, their usual liquid lipstick, and this is called Candy Apple, and let me see, there is, if I can get so the light isn't completely shining on it, um, I'm not going to swatch it because it's really red and I'm not positive. You know, I have a lot of reds. Oh, it's beautiful though, isn't it? I mean, seriously, that'd be beautiful. Like November, December, yeah, February. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with that. So... Back in the box she goes. <clears throat> um, here's some excitement. Always excited. We got a brush. And this brush actually says something like Nikki on it. So I'm not sure if maybe Nikki is the person that maybe helped them to design it. Or can you see that? It, and then on the end, it has the little, the little cute owl face. And, you know, they're, you know, it, it just matches all their stuff. You know, they, their packaging is gorgeous. This is a really, really nice brush. I would not mind having a few more of their brushes but they are pretty pricey and i'm willing to bet because everything i've tried hank and henry so far it seems to be serious quality so you know i'm i'm betting that the the brushes are going to be really nice quality too we got two eyeliners um You know what? I'm going to put you on hold for just a second. <laughs> okay, I think we're back. I cannot even tell you how happy I will be when I don't have to use this anymore. Um, thank you, God, that I have it for now, though. Okay, so what we got here is... Okay, this one is blue. Why can't I see it? I could see it yesterday when I was looking at it. It's blickety. Blickety blue and blickety black. And, um, you know, y'all know I, I love me some eyeliner. So, and I don't know. I've seen a lot of people say that they, um, 
They only put the pencil liners. Oh. Oh. That felt really nice, too. Um, you know, in their, like, tight line and water line. And this is, I use these. I use, like, Icos and, um, you know, the felt tip. I just, I find that they're easier. Uh, you know what? I don't think I opened this one yet. Doofus. Seriously? They, they are, um... Definitely packaged well. All right, come on. I know there's a spot on here somewhere to get this thing off. Did I find it? Perhaps. Come on. Oh yeah. Are you are you guys bored yet? Watching me try to get the packaging off of the thing so that I can. This is the thing about trying real hard not to get into things until you're. You know, I want, I want you guys to see all the stuff for the first time with me. But then you got to unpackage everything and, yeah. Now there's like some kind of glue or something on it. I don't know. It's very weird. Very weird. Okay. Let's just get it out, okay? <laughs> I think that was the blue one and this is the black one. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, my old wrinkled up skin there, but yeah. Ooh, very pretty. Very, very pretty. And I will work on that later because, like, I don't know. There was, like, glue on it. There's some kind of, like, sticky, stickiness. Goofy, come on. I just love their whole packaging, though. I mean, you notice how that matches, like, the brush, you know, and just everything is this beautiful, just very classy and elegant packaging. Even the lippy, you know. All right, let's take a look at these highlighters. Yeah, that can go over there for now. I haven't swatched them. I did, like, take a, a little bitty look at them, but I have not swatched them. This one is upside down. Night. Night light. Well, that's, you know, that's real hard to remember, right? Huh, weird that it would be. Well, I guess when they're stamping stuff, they don't pay attention. But you would think that it wouldn't be upside down to the top. Oh, here it is. It's like Luster Veil. The packaging. Alright, come on. And beautiful. It's cardboard, but it's like... It's a heavy cardboard. And there's a nice little mirror on it. You know, like the whole back. And yes, she does fold back. She has the plastic. And here is what that looks like. Um, It's a little bit like golden compared to what is coming off on the uh, camera. Uh, a little bit... Little bit darker and look at how it's got the little can you see it the little owl is embossed in there just barely huh so let's i don't want to kill off the owl head so oh oh very pretty okay oh honey i'll tell you what now i'm gonna be the highlighter queen here pretty soon but i just I really like highlighters. I just, I really, really do. This one is, it starts out being a little brighter, but then it kind of gets a little more subtle during the day. 
Okay, this one is also upside down. This one is Jewel Thief. Jewel Thief. Come on. Come on. Again, that beautiful packaging. You know, it just really... This one is a little bit darker, a little more bronzy than the last one. It really doesn't come off in the, um, on the camera quite as dark. It's a little lighter in the camera, but if I get close enough, you might be able to. Okay, maybe if it's not upside down. There you go. You can see, is that not just adorable? And Jewel Thief. Ooh. Really, yeah. Wow. Well, you can see the difference between those two. One is a little more, a little more golden, and the other one's a little bit lighter. Very pretty. Very pretty. So we had uh, the lipstick, two highlighters that are gorgeous. Uh, brush and two eyeliners. And this box was, I think it was like $37 plus shipping. So it was like another $8. This was not a cheap box. But... <sighs> I think one of these highlighters runs over forty dollars. So you you do, and I'm sure the the brush. So you know, yeah, you're getting your money's worth. Um, you know, what will the next box be? Who knows? But you know, I can't wait to start playing with some of this stuff. Um, the last box I have been using. This was actually my favorite thing out of the whole box. Ended up being the mascara. If you have not tried the Hank and Henry Mascara, uh, this has the brush for, you know, your top lashes and the brush for the bottom lashes. And it's just really long-lasting, super buildable, and really looks nice on your lashes. Like, seriously not not expensive as high end products uh mascaras go um i think it's like maybe 17 i don't know you'll have to go look it up but this is hands down the best mascara i have ever used and i will be very sad and i will probably i will probably repurchase that because yeah yeah yeah. So, um, the eyeshadow, we got the eyeshadow in the last one. That was, um, really, we got two eyeshadow kits. Their eyeshadows are awesome. Um, I believe if I was going to purchase, I would probably go with the Jeffree Star, though, because, wow. Um, plus you kind of, it's a little kit and you kind of have to really like glitter. There's like a whole thing of glitter in the bottom of it, you know, that you can use with the eyeshadows and, you know, yeah, I hate to buy something like that if you're not going to use it, but, um, but quality, oh my, they are absolutely beautiful. Um, <clears throat> wow, well, I guess that's it. Woo! I'm trying to remember what else we got in that last box. I know we got the eyeshadow and the mascara. Oh, and we got um two lipsticks and or maybe it was two lip glosses. I don't know. We got three lippies. Two of them were gloss and one lipstick or it was two lipsticks and one gloss. I don't actually, yeah, remember. But, oh, <laughs> guys. And, you know, like I said, any suggestions about the giveaway, 
Ooh, like us. You know, how to, how for me to contact you without having to announce it first, you know, because there are people that will like, they'll email you and go, oh yes, I'm so-and-so that won, you announced it, here's my address, and they're not the person, you know, so that's why I like to get in contact with you and get your email before the actual you know, announce public announcement on who won. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, hit that button. Subscribe to the channel. Listen to the goat and the dragon. And, um, let me see. Okay, so I'm uploading, or well, I'm making all my videos for this week today. So, yeah, what we do will be in the comments in the description box as far as, you know, trying to contact, uh, the winner because at this point I don't know who the winner is when I'm making these videos I won't uh, you know I won't know until like tomorrow actually the winner hasn't even been chosen yet while I'm making these videos so you'll have to um, you know watch your notifications go back and check because I will go back and and you know put it on your entry you know hey you need to contact me um, unless I see that you have uh, commented in yet another one and I recognize your name and go, ooh, that's the person that won, you know, and then I'll, I'll contact you in that one. Because sometimes it seems like if there's, you know, that first one, they'll notify you, but then the ones after that, they don't, I, I don't know, it makes no sense to me. Makes no sense. But, you know, I'm technically challenged anyways, so... Until the next time, I hope you wake up dancing, wake up dancing, wake up dancing every single day. Bye-bye.